Hi folks and welcome to part 2. Today we will cover sprite animator and sprite animation as well as controlling the animation through scripting. Going back into our project, nothing happened when we pressed the boost button, nothing visually anyway, the physics still were applied. However, if we want to add some animation and some sprites, we can do that by clicking on the boost spawn point reference. We can add a sprite renderer and an animator. Initially, we'll just click and drag in one of the flame sprites. And we can see now the boost sprite is in the editor. We'll just change the offset slightly here. Make it to line up with the spaceship. We want to do the animation next. In order to do that, we'll go to the bottom plane and right click, go to create animation. We'll rename this booster animation. We'll then double click to bring up this window. And we then need to click on the boost spawn point in order to get this create uh, to pop up and once we have this window popped up we can then click and drag the sprites that we want to include in the animation you won't see them initially so to see them you can click the down arrow on the left there before dragging in the rest of the sprites that you want to include in the animation You can check the animation quickly by pressing the play button it will cycle through them all. Just hit save here. And we'll check it out. We can see now that this booster is or this animation is always active regardless of when we are pressing down the Z key. And in order to change that, we will need to do some scripting. To activate and deactivate the animation of the boost when the button is pressed by the player, we need to update the vector thrust script. And we do that by double clicking on it and it will take us back into the script. Once we go into the boost key, which is Z here, we will reference the game object the boost spawn game object and we will set it to true once the button is pressed it's changing the name here and when it's not pressed when the boost is not pressed by the player we will set it to false we'll save that and then finally we need to go to the boost spawn object because we updated the name we need to now redrag it into the thrust script but we also need to deactivate the object initially before we play and test it out so you can see we have the animation activating and deactivating to illustrate visually to the player that the boost is activated and you are flying in space Join me next time where we'll add a planet and give it gravity to influence the player's spaceship before adding many planets and having some fun with the mechanics.